Hey everybody, what's up? Um, it's good to see you back again. So for today, I'm gonna do something very easy, simple, and quick. We're gonna work on just the core today. Your average workout that I'll put you through just to show you the base movements. I mean, overall, if you do segments of 30 seconds with just 15 minute recovery, 30 seconds, 15 minute recovery, you should be able to do this workout in under 10 minutes. It's super effective. The thing about the core is, it can burn out quickly, but it will recover quickly as well. So that's a good thing. All right, so let's get this workout started. Okay, are you ready to get started? All right, we're gonna start with plank walk-ins and walk-outs. So go to the edge of your mat, and if you don't have a mat and you're just on carpet, floor, it's all good too. Okay, so we're gonna walk in and out. So what you're gonna do is tighten up your core, Depending on your flexibility, you can go wider or narrow. You're gonna reach down to your mat and you're gonna start walking out. Then you're gonna walk back in. Now you can come just part way or you can come all the way up, reset again. It's totally up to you. You wanna do this for 30 seconds is your first segment, okay? Core tight, hold it for a second. Okay, so when you're done that, you're gonna walk right back down again to the second exercise. So we're gonna get into a high plank. In our high plank formation, we're gonna do slow mountain climbers. You're gonna touch, touch your toe. Just like that. Keep that core tight. All right, so those are your slow mountain climbers, okay? How's those wrists doing? Now, if you have wrist issues, you can always come down, do that, then low plank. Okay, third exercise, we're gonna do tabletop rotations. All right, tabletop position, core tight, dig your toes into the mat, and you're going to lift, we're gonna rotate. Fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's actually a lot of work on the core, lots of oblique action for that. Okay, let's go to our ups and downs. All right, you can go high plank or low. So in general, you wanna go down, down, up, up, okay? Now if you try this and it's too much work, can drop to your knees, down, down, press up, press up, switch arms. Sometimes you'll have one arm stronger than the other. That's like me. Okay. And shoulder taps. Okay. Here we go. Hold it tight. Legs should be wider. Tap, 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 tap. Like that. Okay, that's half your segment so far. Okay, and that's a lot of the planking. So now we're gonna bring this to the floor and get you on your back. Okay, so bicycle crunches. These are really old school, so you gotta love them. All right, come back, neck open. You can place your hand, your hands behind your head just to support the head, but do not yank and pull on it, okay? Legs up. From here, get that rotation going. Now, keep your neck open. What I don't want to see is this. Neck open. Just like that. All right, move back here a little bit. Now, so this one, you're gonna lay back a bit, not all the way, just kind of resting my weight back. Good wide stance with those hands. You're gonna lean, you're gonna bring your legs up, and you're gonna tap them. So we're gonna go corner to corner of your mat. 
like that. Remember, keep the core tight. Now another option. Work in lower part of that core. Okay, almost done. Okay, so now we've got ceiling reaches. So if you have a little ball or something, which I have, but for simplicity, I'm bringing it out. You can use it for visual. It won't actually act as a weight, okay? We're gonna lay back, activate the core, belly button into the ground, hands up. So I'm visualizing that I've got something that I'm trying to reach up to the ceiling with. So when I do crunch, it's going to look like this. I'm gonna crunch and reach and release. Crunch and release. Belly button into the floor and release. And release. Get as tight as you can get going in that core. Okay, so there are your reaches. Now we're going to do some laying leg crossovers. Now, your pelvis, when you lift your legs, you're going to get a lot of weight, so your pelvis will tilt. Prevent that from happening and trying to support that belly. You're going to put your hands just underneath your butt. Arms out. And you're going to open and cross these. Now, the entire time, breathing. Do not hold your breath. And try and drive your belly button down into the mat. Right, got that? Okay, one more, not done, one more. We're gonna do some oblique reaches, so perfect position to see this. Okay, legs a little wider on that mat. Here, lay back. You're gonna get up into a crunch position, neck open, and you're going to try and scissor this. You're showing it side to side. Keep the neck open and activate those obliques, sliding. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what was that? Five minutes I did, maybe at the most. And I'm already feeling that. So again, you can take that same cycle, work it through as many times as you like. You can split it up if it's too much. You can add to it if you'd like. But I do recommend at least 30 seconds per movement with a quick break between to catch your breath and going on to the next one. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that workout and have a great day.